Hey folks, so you're about to see the very first of hopefully a long line of Reader's Ride episodes on my channel. Surprisingly, finding the first person to represent my Reader's Ride section was fairly simple. I actually subscribed to a gentleman named Kyle Regal, who has his very own YouTube channel and produces some really great videos showcasing how well his Duramax performs in what most people would say would be pretty extreme conditions. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learn a lot from Kyle, and please go to his channel and subscribe. I've put the link in the description of this video. going on thanks for big truck big rv for choosing this truck and myself basically to do a reader's ride we are in my 2013 chevrolet silverado 3500 hd this is a duramax it's got a 6.6 .6 liter lml version of the duramax diesel pickup truck just recently we have rolled 200,000 miles which is very, very cool. I'm, I'm proud to say that it's gone that far. So this truck currently has 201,051 miles on it. Fuel range, 207 miles to go. Generally on the fuel range on this truck, you can get unloaded about 600 miles to a tank. It's got a 36 gallon tank. And in the back, I have a 75 gallon auxiliary transfer tank that I had custom made to fit below the tonneau cover. So you get 600 miles to a tank when it's empty. If you're loaded anywhere from 280, if you're pulling really heavy all the way up to like 450, just depending on the weight. And that weight ranges between four or 5,000 pounds on the light end all the way up to 19, 20,000 pounds of trailer and machine weight on the uh, heavy side. Now this truck is tagged commercially, so I do have it tagged to be a combination gross weight of 28,000 pounds. Um, I do that because of just what I use it for, hauling heavy equipment, or small heavy equipment on the gooseneck to keep it all legal. You'll see this is the average economy. Now this, I have not reset this trip gauge, and it is within, I'd say, one to 2% accuracy because I've tested it multiple times. But it is within a very accurate reading, and I have not reset this. I have driven this truck probably two to 3,000 miles since I have reset this. And that driving has been a combination of pulling heavy equipment, as you have seen, that I have on right now, which is about 20,000 pounds, and then also unloaded driving. And it's a mix of probably mostly, uh, I'd say 25%, 55 mile an hour highway, as you can see out here. 25% in town driving, and then the other 50% highway, freeway driving back and forth downstate to family. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys see this right now. We have been on the road now for about 30 to, I don't know, 45 minutes, and the transmission temp is at 113 degrees while pulling this load, 20,000 pounds behind us. The fuel economy, we've lost one tenth of a gallon per mile on this trip. As you can see, this is kind of the older generation of interior. You've got your plastic. It's not soft, but it's, it's overall extremely comfortable. So the thing I like best about GMs over Ford or Ram is the comfort of the ride and the quality and the comfort of their seats. Maybe their new vehicles, the 2017s, I think Ram and Ford based on the videos that I've seen from Big Truck, Big RV, and then also from the Fast Lane truck. The new interiors on the newer trucks have come a long way and they're much better. But I will always be a GM fan. I grew up as a GM fan and that is why I have a GM. I bought it in spring of 2014. It 
at approximately 24,500 miles on it. And the guy traded it in because he wanted to get a bigger fifth wheel. So he needed a dually in order to handle that weight. That's how this truck ended up on the lot. I was ready to order a black one just like it. So it got fortunate. The truck sold, I paid, I think it was about 43,000. It might have been like 46,000, 43, 46,000. I honestly can't remember. Somewhere in that ballpark. So for what the price is and for what the truck is, that's an exceptional deal. Now, if you can get at the right time in the right place and find a diesel truck, hardly even used at that point. Um, bare, not even used at all really at that point. I think that's an awesome deal if you can find that kind of a price point for a reasonably loaded out truck. This is an LT model, it is not an LTZ. Basically it doesn't have leather, it doesn't have a sunroof, and it's pretty much it. I would like to have leather, but I'm, I'm okay with cloth. I like the bucket seats, I like the center console for the interior. But my favorite thing about the truck is really just that it's diesel, and I love driving a diesel. I love the fuel economy you get with them. I love the torque and the power curve that you get with them, both pulling and unloaded. And that's really the main reason why I got the truck. A couple other things that I like about a GM vehicle, I really like the independent front suspension on them. I believe they ride nicer, although that's a bit of a judgmental perception on that because I haven't ridden in a newer Ram or Ford. So I can't really compare, but the IFS, in my opinion, has always done very well as far as ride and handling quality and overall durability and longevity out of them. So this truck, I only have done a alignment on it approximately like 15,000 miles ago. It's got 202,000 on it, so 88,000, 85,000. First alignment and first set of brakes. That's all I've done to the truck. Uh, general maintenance, I had a couple warranty issues with some seals on the front drive shaft around 40,000 miles. Dealer took care of that, no problem, no questions asked. And as a matter of fact, I took it in for one seal and he said, oh, we found a couple others, so we replaced those too. So my dealer is awesome. The next truck really is going to be the same exact truck, just a 2018, maybe it's gonna be a 2018. I'm not gonna buy another truck this year. So 2018, probably order or find on the lot the exact truck I want, which will be essentially the same truck that this is, just a newer version. Right when I got the truck, I, I had a, a job, a sales job that I was able to travel the country and I got to drive from like literally Michigan to California, all over the east, or all over the west coast, down to Florida, Georgia, a little bit into South Carolina, North Carolina, but basically all over. I probably drove about probably 60 to 80,000 miles with the truck when I was in that position. Then I also did, I also hauled boat trailers in the wintertime, and this is all right before I started the excavation business uh, two years ago. This will be year three, 2017 now. So it was awesome, and it has been an awesome ride and an awesome journey driving this truck. Pretty much always by myself. I was single at the time, so I didn't really have a care in the world, and it was an awesome way to really explore the country in at the time, and it still kind of feels like it is. It's a brand new, brand new pickup truck, and it's always been the truck that I wanted. So here we are now, three years later, almost to the month. It'll be three years I'll have owned this truck in May 5th, I do believe. So coming up in a couple weeks, it'll be the three-year anniversary, and I've almost put, let's see, a hundred and about 180,000 miles, 190,000 miles on the truck in those three years. So it was fun just to pull, I mean, I've pulled multiple different trailers from small utility trailers, enclosed trailers, gooseneck trailers, this gooseneck, a dump trailer gooseneck, bumper pull dump trailers, boat trailers, big boat trailers, big boats on boat trailers. I have pulled all kinds of trailers with this truck. And if I were to guess, I would estimate that this truck has probably had a trailer behind it for, I'd say probably 100,000 miles of the, of the miles that are on the truck, this thing has had a trailer behind it. And probably 
probably 30,000 of those miles it's had a heavy trailer behind it. So like this big gooseneck it's unloaded right now with heavy equipment from a skid steer, mini excavator, uh, tractor, farm equipment, stuff like that. Boat trailers, big boats on them, things like that. And a couple cargo trailers, but they don't really go over 6,000 pounds with the cargo and the small utility trailers I have. So this truck has really spent a lot of time working and doing exactly what it was intended and built and designed to do. And in my opinion, in my experience, the truck has done excellent in doing so. It still runs and drives exactly as it did the way that I got it when I pulled it off of the lot. It's had a couple new sets of tires on it, on alignment, and I just did the front brakes on it. So the truck has been awesome, and I am definitely looking forward to purchasing another one probably in 2018. So a little bit of the story of why I got this truck, I really just always wanted a diesel pickup. It's really the main reason why I got it. I grew up with GMs and Chevys around, so I've always been a Chevy guy. I do like Ram and Ford in my uh, older, wiser years, but I do like to give the Ford and the Ram guys a hard time sometimes. But all in all, in reality, I think the three trucks all make very, very good, just great trucks in general. And each have their own benefits and each have their own people who like their own brands. So me getting the GM was just kind of a natural choice. I was always a fan of the Duramax. I had a Duramax, it was like an 01 or an 02 for a work truck years ago, 10 years ago or so. And the way that it pulled, the way that it handled, I was really impressed then. So getting this truck was just the right choice for me. So I just want to make a big thank you to Big Truck, Big RV. I think he has some of the best YouTube truck review, truck related, camper, trailer, all kinds of basically big truck, big RV related videos on there. And I think it's really awesome that he went ahead and is doing the reader's ride. I hope to see some of your reader's rides coming over the next few months into the next year. It would be cool to see those of you out there who are doing other real world work truck, camper, RV style towing with your truck and your reviews. So just thank you very much, Big Truck, Big RV. Appreciate your time and your effort in putting the video together. And it's been fun. So make sure you guys subscribe to his channel, like his content, and we appreciate you watching. So take care and have a good day.